his alarm clock was going off and I kept trying to get him to wake up. I said, are you going to work? And he grunted and said yes and he went to get up and just fell right on the floor. I didn't know if, if he was even gonna make it through. My husband's had a stroke and I'm not sure what's gonna happen. All I knew is we had to get him to the hospital as fast as we could. So after the stroke, he was living at the Stan Cassidy, and we were happy that he was recovering, getting the help he needed, and that's the place he needed to be because they are very caring. And push yourself, too, to get better and do everything you can do. And they were such a, a warm, environment to be in and they were good they were supportive of his family too it's not like a hospital environment there it, i couldn't handle six months in the hospital but six months in stan cassidy when you need to be there it's a good thing they taught me to talk again uh, use my brain a little more uh, they taught me how to walk again just tons of things that they did for me. Now I do 98% of the cooking at my house. I look after Maddie when she gets home from school. I look after her in the morning before she goes to school. I had kind of gotten away from my music. My guitar had sat in the closet for a couple of years. Josh Keese, one of the uh, engineers at the center, he uh, invented a device we called Foot Strummer, and it allows me to play guitar with one hand. And uh, I really thank him for that. Now, it's one of the few things that I can do again and enjoy. Well, now Marvin's just, just pretty much like the old Marvin. Um, he can do pretty much anything he wants to. He's come such a long way, and there's, I don't think we could ask for anything more.